Hey guys, Trent here with Hallmarks Detailing. I wanted to talk a little bit about what's the best pad to use for a long throw DA. Um, in particular, the uh, Rupes machines. These machines, as everyone knows, are very um, prone to stalling out, even if you have them washer modded. So, I had a... Uh, Quick, long story short, I had a conversation with Kevin Brown about this from Buff Daddy. Kevin said, Trent, your issue is you need an exact fit pad. Um, so with these pads, what they do is this, this foam here, this is five inches across, right? Same thing, here's a Rupes pad, five inches across. But as you can see, um, the foam sticks out further than the pad. The reason it sticks out further than the pad is it helps reduce vibration. You know, it gives you more stability when you're polishing as a beginner. It reduces uh, vibration so you don't get a lot of, uh, you know, your machine doesn't start here, start doing that crap. Um, so what they have with these exact fit pads is you've got five inches of Velcro and exactly five inches of foam, which should prevent the machine from stalling out. I'm going to test that theory today. I will say, um, just kind of like as a uh, like a standard benchmark or whatever, these Rupes pads work the best with their machine so far. It's the best pad I've used. I've used a lot of these uh, Griot's pads. They work fine on the machine, but uh, they're susceptible to stalling out because they're not balanced for the machine. This pad is actually balanced for the machine, which I didn't believe that until, you know, you actually buy them and try it. These Lake Country HDO pads, these are Lake Country Heavy Duty Orbital. They're designed for long throw machines. They kind of suck. These pads suck. They break down real easy. As you can see, the foam starting to tear away. They, s they start separating, excuse me. Um, and then the long throw DA will wear this Velcro out. And eventually, whenever you uh, go to use it, the thing will just fly off the machine. It is, a, it is a pain in the ass, and I absolutely hate it. And I wish Lake Country designed these four long, do, or long throw polishers, and they suck. So, um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to polish a panel here. And I'm going to use each one of these pads and just kind of see... Um, talk about which one I think's better and how I'm getting more performance out of it or how the performance is I should say so here we've got the side of my truck I've got a clean HDO pad on here I'm gonna put a couple drops of polish not a whole lot because I'm not doing a full polishing pass. I'm just kind of doing a benchmark. I want to spread my section out. And what I, the reason I picked this side of the truck is you see there's this uh, dip that comes out. It will actually, whenever the machine goes up over this, it'll actually stall with this pad. And I'm just kind of, sh I'm trying to show that. I doubt it's going to show it on camera, um, but it does stall. So this is just kind of my benchmark for me. Speed one right now. I'm not doing a very big area. I'm gonna go up to speed five. As you can see, when we get here on the flat area, it works just fine. But as soon as I bring it over here to this curve, it starts stalling out. See, it stalled out. out again. So what do you have to do? You have to lighten up on your pressure in order to get it to work. So you have to lighten up on your pressure in order to get the pad to work. That is okay if you want to spend all damn week polishing paint. I don't have I don't have all week to polish paint, unfortunately. So I'm going to take the next pad here, the Rupes yellow pad. I'm gonna put a couple drops of polish on it because we've still got some on the surface. And again, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Spread it out. Speed one. I'm 
and both the C5. I can tell there's much more rotation with this pad. I'm putting the exact same amount of pressure. We come over here to where the spurs at. Okay, so with that pad, I don't know if you could tell, probably not, but whenever I hit this curve here, the machine did not stall. It did slow down. I maintained the same pressure. I'm using about 10 pounds in case anyone's wondering. The same pressure, it did not stall. It kept spinning, it kept doing its orbit, um, but it did slow down. Again, that's the Rupes pad. These things are very, very smooth with this machine. It literally doesn't even feel like you're polishing paint. Your hands don't hurt when you're done. That's the whole reason I uh, bought a Rupes machine is because I'm very sensitive to the uh, vibration and my hands go numb. I guess the nerves in my hand are messed up. I don't know. Uh, here I'm gonna use the, uh, this is my first time using one of these pads. This is the Americana Global Orange Pad and it's an exact fit. As you can see, it fits exactly the same. We're gonna see how this one performs. I got no pressure on the machine, and this thing stalled out. Those pads are fucking junk. They're designed to not stall out. If you ever watch any of the Americana Global videos, they stalled out. Absolute junk. I'm gonna go back to my Rupes pad just to show you guys. Speed five, same amount of pressure. pad will not stall out whenever I get to that side. How can I do this? One second. So even, even with this pad flat on the surface here, this thing spins much slower than the Rupes pad. And I'm going to mark this uh, pad here on the sides just so I can, maybe you guys can see it so you don't think I'm crazy. My Sharpie's dying on me. All right, so I've got a couple marks on the side of the pad there. Hopefully you can see. I'm going to switch back 
to this pad. Man, I really wanted to like these things. Damn it. I've got it lined up. Try it again. It's not even a 21 millimeter polisher. The 21 would stall out even worse. What a piece of shit. God. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just an angry bald guy. Let's do it again, right? Okay, there's the uh, conclusion. Do the Americana Global Pads work any better for the long throw DA in my situation? No, no they do not. They do the exact same as the HDO pads. And for these pads costing $11 each and claiming that they were designed with uh, the Repez polisher in mind to improve the performance of it, and it does absolutely jack crap to improve the performance of it. It's a failure in my book. Sorry for the rant, guys. Hmm. Just upset. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.